Hey guys, as you can see right here, the Jacko trailer just came out. Only 82, 80, shit, 82 views. Let's watch it. Make sure it's HD. <laughs> Give it a like. Okay, let's see it. Don't mind me, guys. Don't don't mind me. Let me just okay. Perfect. That was jarring. Jack O fights by summoning servants. Who the fuck Take is this? The ever-changing battlefield as you go on the offense. God damn summons the servant. fake pressure, but that's even better this when it's fake. Summons a servant. Servant gauge nice. is required to summon them. Okay. You can use servants as projectiles by hitting them with an attack. Servants oh, that's so cool! When with the little slam on top. After a set period of time. How'd she pick it up pick and toss up it? Servant. Ah, this thank you. This move picks up a nearby servant. You cannot the block while lifting great. a servant, but you can dash backwards. Okay. Throw servant. This move throws a servant forward that you've picked up. The I like the any button. A projectile once uh, you thrown, are. Moving forward in a curved line. Hmm. <laughs> Release servant. This move releases a servant you've picked up. Nice. Once released, the servant falls to the ground at your location. <laughs> oh, I you wonder when it drops. To start your offense by hitting you, them with an aerial attack after releasing. If you hit it, like it depending on how how what angle it'll go Recover. at. at different spots. This move collects all servants that are currently summoned. Oh, thank God she has that. The servant button. gauge refills once they've been recalled. I mean, you can hit them. Servant gauge is required to activate this move. Oh, I didn't even notice there was a gauge. Attack command. This move causes all currently summoned servants to attack. Oh, this character looks As nice. As the opponent on hit, you can follow up with a combo. Yeah, how is she? Works well as a poke or in setups due to its fast startup and recovery. She's a Servant puppet character. Is required to activate this move. Defend command. This move creates a barrier around all servants currently summoned. When the I like that one. A servant with their barrier yeah, up, that shit's sick. The opponent to crumple. That shit is this so cool. Well against opponents who try to get rid of servants by attacking <laughs> them. I love it. You can follow up with Forever Elysion Driver while the opponent is stunned. What was the servant move name? Is required to activate this move. Oh, that animation was cool. Countdown. I like this. This move causes all currently summoned servants to explode. The servants vanish after the explosion, <laughs> but it causes heavy damage. It takes time before Wait, the explosion Wait, it looks so much damage on Soul. So I would time call that Jack heavy. Normal but hey, not bad. Servant gauge is required to activate this move. Oh my god, that hitbox servant is giant. Shoot. An attack that hits in front of How'd Jack How they all o. hit? By hitting servants with this move, you can send them flying far off. This works well as a poke at long range. Yeah, that seems like a really good footsie button. This move can be canceled into some special moves. Wait, Forever the move can Elysium be canceled driver. into some special moves. An extremely moves. damaging throw. So she can this cancel can it. Combos, she has a special move that can be canceled other special moves. Interesting. Due to the invincibility on startup. Be careful with this move as it whiffs unless you're Forever extremely close to the opponent. Driver. Legion. Cheer servant on. This oh, what's this one? It's a temporary buff to servants. Oh, they put on their the mask. version makes servants invincible. Oh, they there's no two. longer disappear when the opponent oh. attacks them. Oh, also answers my question. The slash version makes the servant gauge recover very quickly, making it possible to launch a combination oh, of that's crazy. Oh, that's so crazy. Make good use of the servants you summon to create an opportunity to attack. You can mix the opponent up with her dust attack. Or throw this character once looks so range. fun. If your opponent tries to prevent you from summoning servants, use standing kick or far standing slash as mm. pokes. Her sweep is also easy to use and has a lot of active frames. Her aerial dust attack can keep the opponent from approaching too. Once you have control of the field, use cheer servant on and move in to overwhelm the opponent. Thank you for watching. Thank you for watching. Sick. I'm going to go over that again a little bit. But I just want to say, she, I can already see all these people who say they're going to play her are not going to play her because she's so complicated. Now, she's not like, oh my God, this is the hardest thing ever. But that's there's a lot of depth there. A lot of depth. And that intimidates a lot of people. So I can already guarantee you she won't be as popular as everyone uh 
is thinking. But I thought the same thing about Nagri Yuki, and I've definitely been wrong, so you never know. Uh, I'm gonna watch it one more time. And, uh, kind of, like, break stuff down a little bit. Jack O fights by summoning servants. Take control yes. of the ever-changing battlefield as you go on the offense. So, this is what's already off the get-go. This is interesting, right? So, servants. if you just watch Take what she's doing, she throws this to get in, right? So, cool she pretty much gets a hard knockdown. Uh, let me, slow, let me mute and then slow down, I guess. Playback speed. So she does that, which I assume is close slash into something, but she cancels that with another hit. Now, we don't know if this is all real right here, but and, but that's that's a whole little block string. So that's a whole like five hit block string. Now, a lot of people will stop blocking after two to three hits, right? So that would already open somebody up who doesn't know what the fuck's going on. So I can already see people being like, dude, the pressure's insane. Oh my God. Summon servant. Uh, I'll go back to normal speed for now. Until oh, there's something else I want to look at. Oh god. S sorry. I, uh, professional streamer, by the way. As projectiles by yeah, I didn't even notice there was a servant gauge at first, even though they pointed it out right here. Them with an attack. But yeah, so that Servants that's this reminds me a lot of Wii Fit Trainer in Super time. Smash Brothers with her her soccer ball Pick stuff. Servant. With like having to like picks up bounce them up servant. and stuff and change the angles you by how you hit it. Very servant, very cool mechanic. Can dash backwards. What'd she say? Lifting a servant, but picks up a nearby servant. You cannot block while lifting the servant. Oh, yeah, okay, you cannot you block. Can dash backwards. But the, so you can't dash forward. No, she dashes Throw forward later. Servant. I don't know why they only bring this up dash backwards. A servant forward, oh, but is her picked... back dash invulnerable? There's no way. Because back dashing has invulnerability frames, right? So is her back dash? <laughs> no, that'd be stupid because then be in the corner and just keep running back. Okay, never mind. Duh. Don't mind me. The servant becomes a projectile once thrown. Moving forward That's so in a cool. curved line. That's so cool. But yeah, if you release hit them once, like, I guess they go away. This move yeah. Releases a servant it's crazy they up. made Jacko once released, the like a puppet character. She's always had her being able to pick up the houses and throw them and stuff like that. I get that. Offense, but hitting them with an aerial attack those things like them attacked the on their own. You know what I'm saying? Recover. Now she like really re controls this them more than ever. All servants that are currently summoned. The servant I love the animations. They're great. Once they've been recalled. Servant gauge is required to activate this move. Attack Wait. Command. Servant gauge is required to activate this move. Attack what, command. What does that mean? She gets her servant gauge back. Activate this. Dude, this is just like Zotto. She she can literally throw them out, then take them right back, and she gets the meter back. Move. It's really good, but it's attack crazy. Attack command. This move Olimar. causes all currently summoned yeah, she's, servants she's to Olimar. attack. As it launches the opponent on hit, you can follow up with a combo. Oh, that thing hit, knocks up As too. As it launches the opponent on hit, you can follow up with oh a combo. Oh my goodness. It also yeah. works well as a poke or in setups. Dude, could you just start up Okay, they could probably combo it into itself twice. Is required to activate but this I'm move. not sure. Defend command. This move creates a barrier. This is the coolest thing she has. This thing will be so when busted and annoying to deal with. with. Barrier up, the parry. The you know, you're going to get punished for getting hit this for, for pressing well an attack button with a parry. Get rid of servants by attacking them. You can follow up with Forever Elysian Driver while the That's opponent just is so cool. Servant gauge is required to activate this hmm? move. Although she just puts you in the fucking Countdown. Iron Maiden and kills you. This move Shit's causes dope. all currently summoned servants to explode. The servants vanish mm. after the oh, explosion. Oh, this box is as big as I thought. Heavy damage. It takes time before the explosion. That's goes cool. You off. can move them right so before they explode. That's very cool. I wonder if there's friendly fire. Servant gauge is required. Is to there friendly fire? See how she backs away? So is there friendly fire? Servant shoot. I don't know. An attack that hits in front of Jack O. By hitting servants with this move. You can send them flying far off. This works yes. well as a poke at long range. Yes. This move can be canceled into yes. some Yes. Okay, okay. So right there she canceled her uh 236k into her 236p, right? So she literally summoned off of canceling. I wonder if you can summon uh I'm going to call them serve bots just cuz I like to. I wonder if you can summon serve bots off uh to make stuff more fast to recover, kind of similar to like Potem gets hammerfall break. But that's just Oops. my thought process, don't mind me. Forever Elysian Driver. 
an extremely damaging throw. Coming this move can be used in combos or to interrupt your opponent's Ooh. offense due to the invincibility on startup. Knocks him back pretty far. Be careful with this move as it whiffs unless you are extremely close to the opponent. Oh, I didn't hear him say that the first time. It whiffs unless you're extremely on. close. This Interesting. A temporary it's not a grab, is it? Be careful with this offense due to the invincibility on startup. It's not a grab, is it? Be careful with this move as it whiffs unless you are extremely close to the opponent. It, I, I'm just going to assume it's on. not. Kind of looks like it. It's a temporary buff to servants. The slash version hmm. makes servants invincible, meaning they no longer disappear that when one's the opponent cool. attacks them. But the other one the seems busted. Slash makes the servant gauge recover very quickly. Yeah, it just makes that recover super fast. So you just combination offense together with your servants. Yeah, so you just keep going with the servants until like Make the meter's gone, pretty the much. Servants you summon to create an opportunity to attack. You what if she would have like an infinite till the dust attack the meter's over? Once you're in close range. If your opponent not. tries to prevent you from summoning servants, use standing hmm. kick or far standing slash. Her 5k as looks it's the same as in uh, Exert, I think, but it looks really good. Has a lot of active as an anti air, her 5k her it looks great. Attack can keep the opponent from approaching too. Once you have control of the field, use cheer servant on and move in to overwhelm the opponent. Cheer servant Thank you on. For watching. That's cool. She looks dope. She looks a lot more fun than I thought she was gonna be. And I, like I said, I'm pretty disappointed they changed her style, but she looks fun as shit. Yeah, uh, a lot of similarities to Wii Fit Trainer, still a lot of similarities to Venom, but not as intricate as Venom is. I really hope they still add Venom, but I digress. Yeah, she looks mad cool. Um, I'll try her out, but I'm probably not going to play this character. I'm really happy with my characters. But, uh, you know, like I said, I'm going to repeat myself again. I, I doubt she's going to be as popular as people are hyping her up to be. Just because uh, people don't like playing these type of characters. That's why Zato's not popular. That's it, She's like not a full puppet character where she has like full control of the minions. But it's, it's more puppet-like because she can choose when they attack and whatnot. Um, without just special, like without just supers and stuff. She, like anytime she can make them attack or defend and stuff like that, which is pretty cool. And she can call them back and throw them back out. Okay. Hey, thanks for watching if you're watching this on YouTube.